It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Amanda Nunes and Ronda Rousey. So here's the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became an Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. All right, so here's the two-division champion, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. There have been so many seminal moments in her career. She's just getting going, but hard to do better than that 51-second knockout of Chris Cyborg back at UFC 232. It was absolutely amazing to watch Amanda Nunes just wash out Chris Cyborg, the most dominant female fighter we had ever seen. But when you look back, turn the page a little bit to some of the wins that she has. Knocking out Ronda Rousey in the first round, brutalizing Misha Tate, beating Valentina Shevchenko twice. It's just a laundry list of some of the biggest names that the UFC has ever seen, and Amanda Nunes has dispatched those names. It is as good a legacy as the women's MMA game has had, or, or maybe will ever have, and Amanda Nunes will try to add to it here in a matter of moments. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Rousey is 28, Nunez is 32. The rest of the numbers are close. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a judo wrestler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. You ready? You ready? Well, this fight sold out in a blink, and it is now underway. The rematch between Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes. The odds were long that Ronda would come back, and even longer that when she did come back, she would face the lioness Amanda Nunes. And the odds favor Amanda Nunes in a way that we thought Ronda Rousey would be viewed. So she's got some work to do, because not only is Amanda a dominant fighter, but the profile of Amanda Nunes has been raised much more than it was the first time they fought. I like what she was trying to do there with the counter, but the left punch misses. Big leg kick land. Rousey gets in the clinch yet again. How good is that right hand? Vicious combo there! Trying to stay in this fight! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Rousey. Oh, the right hand is there for... 
Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Big parts land through the middle. Couple of chins here being tested early. Big body kick. Oh, nice job by her there. Opponent maybe expecting that right hand. Oh, and she gets the takedown. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Setting up a sub here. have already landed for Amanda Nunes. Another clinch position. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, that is a huge connection and candidly what we've come to expect from the great Amanda Nunez. Absolutely. She's the GOAT. I mean, she is the greatest female fighter of all time. And you watch in her domination and her performances over the girls that have worked their way to title shots. They get pushed back and pushed back violently by the Lioness. Oh, nice jab. Nice kick. Well, there's the head kick in at land. She has shown a vulnerability to it by leaning in, and that time it looked as if she almost moved right into her opponent's kicking range. Certainly something that bears watching here moving forward in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Rousey gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. Rousey's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks, right? She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of taking a counter right hand. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men. A commitment to Still 
Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Nice. Beautiful hook. What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! Cable inches right there. Oh. It was good night that angle. Big kick land. Left hand punch to the clip. Back and forth we go. Trying for the Kimura submission here. Nicely done. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top position, especially in the full mount, you've got to be very, very patient. You cannot rush. Everything needs to matter because it won't take much. You're sitting on the person's chest or sitting on their hip, fully on top of them. It won't take many of the big ground strikes. Take your time. Find your submission. She needs to do that. Punch, punch, punch. When her opponent gets desperate, latch onto an arm, go and attack that arm bar. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really... Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Just misses there with the left. Straight punch lands. Rousey's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know. Nunez has got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Off of the bottom here by Nunes. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. How good is her arm ball? We'll see if she can set it up here. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nunez gets what back up again. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Both fighters get up now. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy in a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great place. The best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. round is now underway and maybe in 2005 she would have gotten that submission in the previous round but submission defense across the board is so good now she was unable to close the game is evolving right
tonight, the game has continued to evolve, and people are so well versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, Tom, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Nice leg kick. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we have another beautiful take down. This might just be a matter of time. to watch. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys would try to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Nunes. Well, Rousey's back into full guard. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Head kick there blocked by Rousey. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of, one of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with a jab. <laughs> Another clinch position. Rousey's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see for one big takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guards, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grapple. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a body. Lands the short elbow there. Effective jab there by Nunes. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Rousey. All right, rubber guard for her now, so not a lot of fighters will go to this type of guard, and I would think that could pose some problems here for her opponent. It would pose some problems, because most people are not used to it. So what she needs to do is just remember, I'm not in grave danger just yet, but I cannot allow my opponent to get going and get working in a position that I don't see very often. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the fantastic takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. In full guard now, DC. And I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. Well, Rousey's got the full mount. When you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Well, you got to try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon 
find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. All right, so the fight was close according to Las Vegas. It was competitive throughout. We might be destined for a split decision. I mean, this is exactly what we expected this fight to be. You knew that you were about to watch two of the best female fighters in the entire world. She held a slight advantage on the stand-up, and I think that's going to be enough to earn her a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, rounds one. Judge two scores it, 9-28, Nunes. And judge three scores it, 9-28, for the winner by split decision, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Nunes. All right, so a win's a win. She gets it done by split decision. I thought she won the fight and ultimately gets her hand raised. Yeah, she won the fight, but it was just very, very close and closer than she thought it would be when she came into this octagon. Credit to her opponent, but also a credit to her for getting through that and getting the victory. I'm still winning.